Info Server and I will be moderating today's workshop. Um, so uh, firstly, I would like to ask the participants for a round of introduction. So uh, please introduce yourself. You can unmute yourself. You can even uh, write it in the chat box. Um, so yes, please tell, uh, tell us about yourself. Assalamu alaikum to all. I'm Saika from Sakkar IV University and I'm studying computer science. Okay, anyone else? Okay, so I think somebody has. Okay, you can write it in the chat box if you uh, do not want to mute, uh, unmute yourself. Okay, so I think I'll start. Um, okay, so Circle Pakistan's mission is to advance women's economic participation and empowerment through innovative entrepreneurship and leadership labs. Advocacy campaigns and research, we develop and support the entrepreneurial and leadership capacity of women and youth in Pakistan to bring about economic growth and social change. Some of the in initiatives by Circle include Tekkaro, she Loves Tech and Elevate. This year, under She Loves Tech, uh, Tech Pakistan 2020, with collaboration with FNFF, HBL Pakistan's leading bank, and UNDP Pakistan, a global development network, Circle has set an ambitious goal to engage 10,000 women and girls across Pakistan. Uh, and FN, uh, and these workshops are actually supported by the Frederick Noman uh, Foundation for Freedom. FNFF, uh, which aims to contribute to the enhancement of soft skills in the fields of entrepreneurship, business management, strategic communication, business leadership, and responsible citizenship. Um, and today's workshop um, is, um, is actually on uh, introduction to enterprise commuting by Phila. And um, I would like to introduce our trainer for today. So Phila is a ME, MEA Z developer advocate at IBM. She manages and owns the Africa Linux One Community Cloud. She gets to work with IBM clients and business partners. She is member of IBM Academy Technology, Academy of Technology and MEA Women in Tech. Phila has been guest lecturer at all uh, guest lecturer at all the prestigious universities in South Africa. Phila graduated at Rhodes University, was a SAP consultant before she worked with IBM. So welcome Phila and um, I would like you to take over now. Thank you. Hello, my name is Phila Zamini. I'm a project manager for Linux One and uh, IBM Z here in Africa. Uh, it's actually for the whole of Mia, so in, also including Pakistan. So we have these uh, two resources here for skills development. We realize as IBM worldwide that there's a big skill shortage when it comes to IBM Z and Linux One throughout the world. And uh, so IBM donated these two machines for skills shortage. 
uh, and clients also use them for proof of concepts because we understand that even if you're working at the bank, you might not have access to a mainframe, uh, hence you will not get the skills that are needed. So I'm sure you're wondering what are IBM Z um, and what is Linux One. So IBM Z is a mainframe. So uh, I'm sure when you're checking the balance on your phone or booking a, a flight, uh, you wouldn't know what system is working in the background. It's actually a mainframe. So it uh, processes thousands and thousands of transactions per second. Um, so it, it, it deals with just transactions of any, uh, any kind in any environment. So all the Fortune 500 uh, companies in the world, actually most of them use the um, Linux One or IBM Z. And so the difference between an IBM Z and a Linux One is just a different operating system. The IBM Z uses SOS and then the Linux One uses Linux. So today I'll be taking you through a uh, master mainframe training. Uh, for those, I'm sure do we have a new audience today. But um, what we'll do is we'll register on Master the Mainframe and then we'll go through the challenges. So today I'll do it differently compared to what I did on Monday because I know that uh, we, we ran out of time and I also didn't cover what I wanted to cover. So um, well, let me just tell you a bit of Master the Mainframe then we'll start. Um, so Master the Mainframe is a competition that uh, worldwide has throughout the world. It's for um, people who want to learn master mainframes, basically. You don't have to have any ex experience. Uh, we also say that it's from 13 years old, but uh, honestly, it's for university students. Um, and you don't have any, you don't need any basic or any understanding of anything before you um, actually enroll for it. So it's a teacher's you live one, it's just an introduction to all the, well, what is virtual um, virtual studio, what is Alpaz and so forth. So it just teaches you stuff, right? And then if you complete level one, which is just opening each tab and, and reading or watching the videos, and then you, you get to feed two kids. So IBM will then feed uh, two kids on your behalf. And then uh, level two, you'll then, if you complete level two, uh, you get a badge, which you can show on your LinkedIn, your, 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 your CV. And a lot of companies out there actually recognize that uh, you know something about mainframe and they will consider you if they are thinking of hiring a graduate for master in mainframe. So um, we have graduate programs throughout MIA uh, that is in South Africa, Saudi Arabia, Turkey and Egypt, we take roughly 20. So it depends on the clients because what happens is IBM takes the students for six months. You do labs, they train you, they do all the gear and everything hands on. But then the other six months you go to the clients. The clients will specify which skill they want you to train on, maybe security, and then they'll train you on for those six months and IBM will still be paying you for the whole year. And then after that, then um, the reason why we take, depending on the clients is because the client will then take all the students, right? So they give you a fixed contract or a permanent contract. And that's because of a skill shortage with throughout the, the world, right? Um, and then we also have uh, something called Z Ambassador. So what is Z Ambassador? Let's say you're doing your third year or second year in your university, and you, you just want to understand what is um, um, mainframes and so forth. And also you're hoping for an internship or actually a graduate program. So it's more of an internship. Uh, for, for the year that you are either doing your final year or your second year, it doesn't matter. And what you do is you uh, host, um, the requirement is for you to host master mainframe workshop in your university and also blog about them. And that's it, right? Uh, and then uh, you will get a lot of connections throughout uh, IBM and also probably get, um, you know, someone who can employ you in future. So um, if you follow me or uh, add me on LinkedIn, you will get some of these information when we are advertising for and looking for Z ambassadors uh, throughout the, the, the world, right? We hire, we, we take from uh, everywhere. And um, you, so you're getting this experience because if you graduate, everyone is graduating with a degree or I don't know, a diploma. And um, it, no one is dis being distinguished when it comes to CV. So a, a person that is hiring wants to look for, you know, someone that went beyond, this just their classroom and did more. Uh, so what I've done on the chat, I'll just reshare it again because I know there are people that just joined. I'll share the link to where you'll do your master mainframe. 
and then I'll share more information about, let's say now you wanna be more special or specialized in mainframes and you wanna get more information, there's a blog there that tells you which courses you can take. And also um, let's say you're in a, a university and you wanna do other studies, uh, including IBMC, you can. And so that's academic um, website. It, it teaches you or shows you uh, all the different courses that IBM has in store for you, and you get a badge for each one of them. There's even security, uh, quantum computing, you name it, it's there, and you will get a certificate for it. And that could help you if you want to specialize in anything. So let me just reshare the links that I've shared. And what I'll do is then I'll ask someone uh, to share their screen and we'll start uh, the hands on master mainframe. So I'm just guiding you throughout the competition. Remember that uh, master mainframe level two. So we can do level one, but I, I, I like yesterday we did, or on Monday we did a uh, level one and, and completed the whole thing, but it's nothing um, major, right? Just opening and, and reading and just closing. So today we'll do it differently. We'll, do, we'll open level one where we have to do instructions and then we'll do level two where we have to do all the critical parts because I do want you to uh, get to a point where you've created your own web page and also have um, uh, or, or end up playing a game on IBM C so you can see how amazing it is. Uh, so that's where I want to do. So I'm just guiding you throughout uh, well, through some of the challenges on the competition, but you will have to do it by yourself because remember it's 16 hours to complete a complete uh, level two and um, we, we only have two hours to complete this. Okay, so can I ask someone to um, show the screen? If we don't, because I know you guys are a bit shy. <laughs> hey, or is it up? Oh, mom. Hello, yes, everyone. I'm going to share the screen. I should uh, open the master mainframe screen, right? And yes. Um, I should just check the screen. Um, okay, uh, is it visible? Yes, yes, it is. Can you just pronounce your name again? Iman. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah. On the chat, just let me know if you can't find the link. Mm. So it's the first one. Let me just uh, copy it and send it again. So everyone can be in the same uh, page. Yeah. So it's the one that I've shared. It's masterthemainframe.com. Okay, uh, someone is saying connectivity, okay. Connectivity issues, okay, that's fine. Uh, so you will catch up, I promise you, because we will uh, go a bit slow on some of them. So for, the, for everyone else, you just click on get started. If you've gotten to the link, uh, just click on get started. Okay, so. So here you just put your details, right? Your, your normal details that you put on any form. You're just registering, right? Iman, Iman you, you did register on Monday, right? Or was it? Uh, no, that was not me. Oh, okay. Okay, Iman, okay. So that's fine. Yeah, I will just register right now. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I will change my password. I will just verify my account. I'm sorry.
So I've shared the link again. Uh, I hope everyone has got it, right? Just for some confusion with uh, some people will write www, which is HTTP, HTTPS, right? And then you put the details as uh, Iman has done. Yes. Um... Okay. Um, I know that you guys are very shy, <laughs> but it would be nice if uh, maybe one of you or two can just let me know on chat if uh, you, you're still following uh, or if you have any questions or you're struggling with anything, you don't have to mute yourself. Just let us know on chat so we can understand that you are following and we're not losing you, okay? Cool. Uh, so, um, so you see here, there's two, there's Master Mainframe Workshop, IBM Z, and then there's um, a register for the contest. So the IBM Z uh, workshop, we had it on the 15th of September, that's when we were launching it. Um, so if you do want to go there, there's a lot of content. We had uh, international speakers talking about different topics, modernization, um, you name it, any topic that you can think of uh, was there. Um, open shift, red hat, anything red hat was there. So if you go to that link, it will show you all the things that were there, all the replays. Uh, but today, because we're doing the contents, we'll just click on you are eligible to register for the IBM mainframe um, contest. Scroll down, yes. So it should have something at the bottom, does it not? Oh, yes, yeah. So here it's just asking you about your, your school. Yeah. This one's a bit yeah. Should I? Yeah, it's just a bit So you don't have a university, right? <laughs> I do. I'm actually, in a, I'm actually in my second year at university. Oh, it's not showing up. Um, I think it's stuck or something. Uh, yeah, URL of my school, uh, like the link. Yes. Okay, I don't know. Let me. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, do it with our IP or enter our PK. I think this should work. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. So, so once you're okay. done, now they're asking more information. Yeah, they're asking more information. So scroll down. There's MTM a workshop. Workshop. Uh, I would say that maybe you're willing to hear about, you know, career opportunities and stuff. Yes. Okay, continue. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, every time you complete a level, it will start giving you points. Um, you, if you scroll, just click on complete my registration. Yes. Yes. And scroll up, let's see. So it starts giving you points. Yeah, I earned 25 points. <laughs> so you close it and we yeah. So what happens on the side here? There's a leaderboard, right? Uh, people have um, you know, the leader every time they complete um, these uh, challenges, but also in this um, place, the same place. There's other, um, you know, um, if you look uh, or, or learning. If you wanted to learn COBOL, you find it here and you start getting. So that's why you see people who have nine thousand points. Okay, someone says I'm stuck. Please, okay, cool. Uh, please let us know where you stuck um, when you were registering, uh, where, can you just uh, specify um, what's happening and where, where you are? So um, Iman, uh, please refresh so we can see the next challenge. So guys, every time you get all those points, you just need to refresh either, uh, click on your refresh button at the top or you click on show them now, so then uh, they will refresh, right? Okay, so then now they have a level one, right? Can you see level one? And everything else there you could do if you want to, but um, we, because we want to complete the, child, um, the competition, we'll just do level one.
Okay, cool. So there's one point uh, zero, uh, one point zero. Um, and so we just over open it, but I, I really want to hurry and go to 1.2. Uh, but so this you can go through it by yourself. Just scroll down quickly, because um, I, I, I really want to get to the point. So so go to it. Open it. Sorry, Iman. Sorry, I'm confusing you. So open 1.0. So I'm still waiting for Sika. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your your name well. Uh, just let me know where you where you stuck. Okay. Um, and Iman, scroll scroll down. Scroll down, yes. So um, here, uh, it's just, just showing you a video. So if you click on go there, can you see that go there? Yeah. So it will tell you uh, every time you refresh. So just go back because we don't want to waste time in, in things that uh, are not that important right now. Uh, remember, uh, so now she just clicked on watched it. I'm sorry guys, we're rushing, but this will be recorded so you can go through it again. It's because we want to do the most important things, which are the hands on, and then refresh again. So on that video, it's just, just telling you that every time you open a challenge, you'll get points, and then that's how and you need to refresh every time, right? Please open one, 101. So we want to get to 102, right? So we're just rushing through these, and you'll find it. I'll show you now where you find these if you want to go back. Scroll down, please. So here it's telling you about the nice and sleek um, mainframe that we have. Scroll down. So before a while back or years ago, if you were thinking of a mainframe, it will fill the whole room. And then you can watch these videos if you want to. I scroll down. Um, my favorite is this one, the virtualization, because it explains it much better. And he writes on a whiteboard and explain it better, right? So now he's asking what is an LPA. Obviously, he's explaining what is an LPA there and what it stands for, but he's asking for a wrong answer. So you can write anything. You can even write IBM Z right now. So you, for, for once in the test, they're asking you for wrong answers. And then you say, cool, tell me more. And then we're closing this. And we're rushing through these and not going through them because um, we want to do the hands-on, you know, the most important stuff. So you refresh again. Cool. So I think we 1.2. This is the one that I wanted. Yes. So this one has a, a lot of information. Scroll down for me, please. Yes. So the most important part here is your user ID. Can you see the user ID there? It said um, 04357. So for everyone, they will have a different user ID. And so uh, Imana, can you please write it down on paper? Because um, when you're opening a virtual studio, what happens is it wants your user ID. And if you don't have it on paper and you just copied it on your laptop, it, it will just go back again. So uh, if you can, I'll give you some time to just write it down. Uh, I, have, I have noted it down. Okay. Great. So, and then if you see there, it says uh, grab the challenge instructions. Can you see? And it says click here. Yes. So if you click there, you'll find a PDF document that will download and we'll be working through it, okay? So for everyone, what I'll do is, um, you will get all these PDF documents when you're doing all the challenges, but because of uh, the time that um, we have, and the things that we want to cover, I will share some of my of the, all the folders that we'll be using for the examples now, so we you won't get lost. And uh, you can go through them if you want to, but you will have them when you are doing your challenges, right? Uh, so I'm 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 hoping that you you've downloaded the PDF, right? Come on, uh, did you? So the, uh, at the bottom it says uh, PDF documents, yes. Great, so once you download the PDF document, um, and then it will tell you to download Node.js in Virtual Studio. Uh, Iman, can you download? There's a link there for Node.js and a, Node, um, a link for Virtual Studio. Can you download? Um, both of them, first the Node.js and then the next one.
Yes, sure, I will download them. So what I've done is in the meantime, while she's still downloading and you also downloading the Node.js and the virtual studio is on the chat, I've shared three, uh, three documents. The first one is the one that we're working on now. So it has the links for Node.js and a virtual studio. And it also has, a, uh, you know, where you get your IP, which we'll talk about later. And then we have the second challenge, which we'll find in two point, um, uh, three or something, yeah, 2.3. And we don't want to go through all of them and try and open them because it's, it does take a while. And remember, I don't want uh, what happened on Monday to happen again, where we end up not doing uh, the most important stuff uh, because of time. So, um, so we'll just do these two challenges from the documents. You will get time, um, and I'll just show you now, once she's done downloading uh, Virtual Studio and Node.js, how you get the challenges that you already that, um, um, you know, uh, finished or completed, or also just going back to any of the challenges that you wanna go to. And then the last one is a uh, LNX2. That's another document we'll be using when we're doing our hands-on. So everything that I'll tell Iman to do will be in these three documents that I've shared. You'll also find the same documents on your challenges. So it's part of your, your Linux, um, your master mainframe challenges. Okay, so um, sh um, she's saying I have registered now what, where, do I, where should I go? Okay, so once you've registered, um, it, it, you then send to this website where it says, um, you know, IBM Z day, right? Can you see that? And in the other one, it says, eligible, you are eligible to uh, start the ma mainframe contest. So you need to click on that one. So what I will say uh, is, um, you, it's fine, you don't have to go through that because now we are on 1.2 is, um, can you, uh, can I suggest that you start download these uh, three documents for me? And in the first one, you'll have the link to download Node.js and the link to download um, uh, Virtual Studio and you just download them so we can be on the same page. So you don't feel left behind. So everything else that we did on Master Mainframe was just uh, opening and closing the tabs and just reading through it. In fact, we didn't even read uh, through all the information. So you always have that to go back to. Is that cool? Okay, so um, while it's still downloading Iman, can you just go to a master mainframe tab? You know where we were doing a challenges, the first, the first tab, I think. Yes, okay, cool. So this one you always have, so right? Even if you close it and you get the points and, it, and it's supposed to close um, or, or go away, it won't, it will always be available. So please refresh for me. So I just wanna show everyone, even including the person that just registered now and they, they're wondering if they're behind or not. So if you just download all the three files that I've shared with you, uh, the first one, the VSC.1 will have links for Node.js and Virtual Studio. So in the meantime, uh, please download Node.js and Virtual Studio. So while it's still downloading and we're getting everyone to download it, uh, I just wanna allow uh, or show you how to navigate through this, right? Uh, can we go back to, um, or oh, you just wanna open it? No, it's fine, we'll open it later, okay? Let's just go here. I just wanna show everyone uh, that everything, so every time you open a challenge, a new one will, will want to complete that challenge a new one will show, right? So we're not opening this. Um, so, but then the most important one is 1.2, right? So 1.2, uh, sorry, Iman. Uh, let's go back to 1.2. So 1.2 has your login details, right? And I want you to, or even though you downloaded the documents that I've asked you to download, write down everyone's, it has a unique ID. So take down the unique ID. Can you see, see that Z? So please remember that that O next to that Z is not an O, it's an, a zero. So uh, Iman's uh, part, um, username would be Z zero four three five seven and for everyone here they'll have a different user id right and the password also right uh it's different and, and that's clear so you'll always have this but while you're still downloading node.js and uh, virtual studio you need to write down your user id uh, and it's under 1.2 okay cool so please close this
And then uh, if you click on, can you see the different tabs? Uh, the one is written completed on, uh, completed? Yes. So every time you, like right now, we just went through 1.0 and 1.1 very fast without you reading or looking at the videos, you can go back and open them and read about it if you just click on completed, right? Uh, and then I just want to find out from C C K. Uh, sorry, I, I can't pronounce your, your name well, but I'll pronounce your surname, Ahmad um, Ali. Uh, uh, how is it going? Are you able to to get to this point? So if you can't, then you can just download these documents. And Iman, can we um, can we go to our virtual studio now, and you can open it and do uh, set it up. Okay, so uh, uh, she's saying, um, no, where should I go? I registered now, where should I go? She's not, um, so okay, uh, have you downloaded uh, the VSC one? And then in that document, it will have Node.js and Virtual Studio links. Or let me just share them again, Node. Okay, the links to Node.js. Right, so the link to Node.js and in the virtual studio one. Okay. Great. Okay, let me go back. Okay, so have you set up your virtual studio and your Node.js? Um, yes, um, they are downloaded. And is it set up? Great. Okay, can you set it up at, on, on, on your screen? We can only see your browser. I don't, I think you just shared your, um, your browser only and not your, your tools or your, your whole screen. But um, once you're done, we would like you to open your uh, virtual studio so we can then uh, start working on it. Aisha, Umam, how's it going? Are you guys following? Okay, can you uh, um, can you now see the the Node.js and uh... yeah. so the Node is fine. Um, we wanna yeah, we wanna work on the virtual studio. So it's fine. You can just close the Node.js. We won't be using. Okay. It. This is working in the background. Okay, cool. So uh, I hope everyone has opened their virtual studio. Um, unfortunately, none of you are com uh, communicating with me. Okay, someone says, yeah, yes, Umam. Okay, great, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, cool. On virtual studio, I'm, I'm, I'm happy when, um, you know, let me know that um, you're on the same page. Uh, so please um, always make sure that you, you are letting me know, especially if you're getting things wrong or actually things are not working, okay? So here, uh, Imam Iman will be uh, working on the side. Can you see uh, from the top, we have, uh, you know, that's like the paste button. And then there's like a, um, a magnifying glass. So we'll be using the last one. Can you see it has like three blocks and one escaping? So that's an extension, right? So if you click on it, so now we want to add extensions. We want to add, um, you know, mainframe, uh, applications so we can work on those applications. So the first one we'll do, uh, we'll add is Zoe. So if you write Zoe on the search button, yes, and so you click on install. Can you see install there? So we're installing that Zoe. And then the next one is IBM Z, open, at the IBM Z it open it explorer, I think. Uh, just write IBM Z, IBM space, 
and space Z. Yes, yes, open editor, right. Then you install that one, right? So can you see Im Iman that uh, we already have um, a Z next to it, right? Next to the one that we're working on, the, next to that extension tab that we're working on. Yeah, below it, can you see? There's a Z below, below that. No, um, yes, great, <laughs> yeah, cool. So you go to that Z, right? That's for Zoe. So now we're working on Zoe, right? Remember we installed the extension. So what we're doing here is, can you see we have different um, tabs already there, your data sets, your Unix systems, your jobs. So we'll first work with the data sets and mostly on the examples that I'll show, we'll be working on data sets. And in the other examples, when they carry on, They'll then say, if they're referring to a Unix, then obviously you'll go to the Unix tab. And if they're referring to jobs, you go to the jobs tab, right? So if you go to the data sets, can you see at the top, Iman? Yes, so uh, the data sets, can you see data sets, the word data sets? Yes, there's a plus sign. Uh, scroll down a bit, yes, yes, you're a bit fast. So if you go to the word data sets, can you see data sets this side on your left? Yes, there's a plus there. Yes, great. So um, there they want you to, we're creating a, a, a portfolio, right? You wanna see if we have data sets in there. So we click on create, create a new connection on ZOS. And now they're asking us for our connection name. So we'll write MTM, master the mainframe, MTM 2020. So the, no space is fine because it's a name. Uh, okay, it's fine. And then uh, we'll choose a ZOS MF. So profile type will be, and now they're asking us for a, a, a IP address. So I'll give it to you because obviously you perceive there and everyone else, please note that that IP address is in the document that I've shared with you. So you don't have to, um, you know, uh, find your own or try and, and, and get it somewhere. It's in the document. So I'll just share it here for everyone, but I'll call it out for you. So it's HTTP. So please write HTTP. Yes. S colon, so those, those two dots, yes, uh, forward slash, forward slash, another one, another, yes, 192, dot 86, dot three two dot one five three colon ten four four three enter now it's asking you for your username remember that username that you had that's Z, no, uh, what happened now? Yeah, that's Z uh, that you wrote down on paper. I think this is a capital letter Z, right? Zero, four something, yes. Yes, great. And in the password, so for everyone, guys, your user ID you'll find under one user ID. Let me just write it. One point two. Sorry, I'm making noise. Okay, and then you write false, right? So you can, you can, you want any connection to be accepted, right? 
enter. Just enter. If you just enter from your um, from your keypad, should be fine. Enter again. Enter. Right. So the date is uh, so that's MTM twenty twenty. So um, I just want to find out from everyone that is on the group. Uh, are you able to have that? Right. Were you able to find your um, or, or do or complete that? Okay, so the next one is we want you to, um, so we closed our Node.js, uh, Node we're not working on it. So it will work in the background. So now next to that MTN, uh, MTM 2020, can you see it? Right, uh, there's a, a, a glass, like a magnifying glass, right? So you click on it and then you put your IP, your username. So username is Z00. So guys, from now on, we're moving to the second uh, document that I shared, the one that is written uh, VSC.2, okay? So each document says 60 minutes, but we will ignore some of them. Uh, and I will go a bit faster today. So scroll down, please, on those uh, data set that you got. So we're looking for work, right? The last one. Can you see the one written in the work? And is it like a star following you? Can you see? Uh, please click on that star. So we make it favorites. Yes, great, thank you. So if you scroll up and you go to your favorites, you'll see it there. Uh, scroll up um, under data sets. Yeah. Yes, open your favorites, yes. There it is, cool, open it, yeah, great. So now let's go to MTM. So what we're doing there is just taking uh, this one folder that we'll be working on and making it our favorite. So we don't wanna open it every time, but now we wanna open something else called public, right? Another data set that we'll be working on and putting it in our, in our work document. So right now she can see that uh, there's nothing under her work uh, data set. So let's go to that MTM 2020, not the one under your favorites, the main one. Yes, that one. And then put that magnifying glass, okay? So we're searching. That magnifying glass is all about searching, right? So we now want to look at public, right? So we will right. let me, where did I miss it? Cool. So we want to write um, the word Public. Okay, so we first want to submit. So we write, um, let me see, it's your username, right? Username is Z0. Uh, are you writing a username? Am I supposed to write my username right now? In this okay, so, yes, so you write your username. I'll tell you uh, what else, because now we, we're changing what we were looking for, right? So it's your username dot, right? Uh, work, the word work. So it's username. Z0435 seven. I think it's a five, right? I think it's a five. Iman? Yes. Five. Is it a five? Yes. Five, seven. Dot work. Dot. Uh, it's supposed to be um, MTM. So it's a comma, it's a comma, sorry, it's a comma. No, you're right. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> I think I'm confusing you. And so it's dot work comma. Then it's uh, MTM 2020. 
So there's no space between uh, MTM 2020. And then dot public dot uh, J C L. So now L, L, J, C, L. Yes, J, C, L, yeah. So what's happening here? We're looking at another data set, right? Enter. So remember now it was showing us our direct, right? So now we were opening, we we're just opening that uh, MTM public.jcl. If you open it, so they want us to submit something. So if you went through the challenges, you'll see they want you to, if they want to check your work, they will ask you to submit. So can you see that CHK, the first one? Right click on it. No, right click. Right click, yes. And then the submit job. Can you see in the beginning? Yeah, so we're submitting the job. And uh, so everything that we're doing will show obviously under the jobs, but we're not going to be working on the jobs tab right now. So right, so we've done the first part uh, where we were you know, so having to submit something. And then now we need to go and work on something else, right? And the next step is just for us to copy one document to the next. And then um, they ask us to, um, they ask us to, let me share this document so everyone will have it. So we already have, we've done the two. So let me just uh, look at the, um, the document that we've shared here. So we've done VSC.1, right? We've done VSC.2 because they were asking us to share. Um, so the first one we were installing uh, Node.js and um, the virtual studio, right? And in the second one, they were, were asked to submit a job. And then now we're doing the third one where they ask us to copy work from one place to the next, right? And we're going to do it in this document. The one that I've shared now, it's PDS.1. So I've just recently shared it. Okay, cool. So uh, what I'll ask you to do now um, is, uh, Iman, let me just uh, allow everyone to download the document. And then we're looking at the attributes and wanting to, um, you know, download stuff from the next uh, to the next, right? So we already have. Um, so remember the first one we did when we were asking, we I was asking Iman to open that magnifying glass and writing her username. And what we saw there is all the data sets under her username, right? And then the next thing I asked her to write uh, her username including MTM and then public and then JCR. And we were just being very specific and looking for that specific data set. And from there, because we wanted to submit, right? And then now what we'll do is we'll open, we'll ask her to open a, a data set that is um, you know, very broad, that would have a lot of information. And from there, we'll be I'll be directing her where to copy a document or data set and copy it into her work data set. Remember the one that we made favorites in the beginning? So that's what we'll do now. So Iman, if um, you go to MTM 2020, that uh, magnifying glass again. So now we're writing MTM 2020 dot public full stop and in like a star, right? So I know mine is um, shift eight, right? So that star is saying everything under public we want to show, right? Enter. So make sure that it's not defaulting. I think it's defaulting to the one that you had before. Did you see that? Okay, let's just wait, yeah. So it's um, MTM 2020 dot public dot, no, full stop first, yeah, and star, yeah. Enter. Yes, enter. 
So let me just find out. I, I know that I got someone to respond, which is amazing. Umam, how's it going? Are you still following? Let me see, maybe I'll get someone else. Okay, cool. So is it not opening? What's happening? So just open that MTM and see that, uh, that there's a tab there, right? Yeah, let's see what happens. It start pulling, it seems like it's pulling stuff there, yeah. Great. Um, so it has everything that we need, right? So we'll start um, with the public input. Can you see that one? And then you open the drop box, yeah? And scroll down, we're looking for PDS part one. Can you see PDS? So right click, right click on it, there's copy. There's a button called copy, yeah. Can you see if you look at the information that is there, it's all the ingredients for a recipe, right? So scroll up and go to your work uh, data set. Remember it's under uh, your favorites. So if on your data set, you scroll up, yes, yes, uh, yes, under your work, then you, you right click and you paste. Yes, so now it wants you to name it. So it's PDS, so write PDS. So all capital letters just to be uh, safe, PDS part one, part one. Yeah, great, enter. Then it will be there, right? So let's just carry on right now. I will show you everything that, obviously if you copy and paste, you all know what happens. So let's go back to that input and we're looking for PDS part two. Can you see it? Part two, yes. Do the same thing. Copy, right click and paste from there. Thank you. Done, right? Pa paste, yes. You name it PDS part two. Great. Now we're going under MTM public outputs. Oh, oh, sorry, not output, JCL. JCL, remember the one that we went to, the public JCL? Yes, scroll down. We're looking for PD, PD cats, something in PDS cats. There it is, PDS cats. We're copying that. Copy and go to the that one at the top. Paste again, do the same thing. You're pasting it there. Right click, paste. Yes, and then you name it PDS uh, cats. PDS C, PDS 1C cats. PDS 1C, so there's 2C cats, yes, thank you. Uh, and then uh, you enter. Okay, so if you wanna open, just click on PDS part one. Right, click on it. So it, it will show information on the side. Okay, it's cool, yeah. So if you see on the side, it has uh, all the ingredients, right, for your taco re recipe. Uh, so your tomatoes and so forth. And then at the end, how you prepare it. If you open part two, can you open part two for me? Yeah, and then part two is now telling you, giving instructions how you do it and all that. And then if you open that, uh, the last one, the PDS cats, yes. So in that PDS, it uh, doesn't have information, but it does have instructions. So it's saying pull part one and part two and then make it PDS out. Can you see the word, right? So if you submit that PDS cat, can you submit it for me? So right click and submit. 
Great. So we'll see, just, um, can you see that drop down on work and then open it again? So it has to produce something called PDS out. Yes, open it again. Can you see it now? Yeah. Let's open that, uh, let's click on it. So what's happened? It, it took two, these two documents and made it one big one, which is amazing, right? Um, so that's what it was doing. So we you have to rename that one, um, that PDS out. So there's a pen next to it. Oh, I think it works. Or maybe right click. Right click. Right click. So right click. I think the pen is not working. Right click. So just right click on the PDS. Yeah, rename is. Yes. So right recipe. So change the name of it and it will be recipe. Yes, great work. Thank you. So we've done, um, guys, what you've seen now. So we're going to move on from this, right? But I just want to explain what you were doing. And most probably you think um, what you were doing, it doesn't make sense to you because you know, you're following me and you're rushing. Uh, but what we've done is we've logged into to master mainframe, right? And I was just showing you every time you open a challenge and it will give you instructions, maybe read or do something on it. And then you close it, you get points, right? And then you need to uh, uh, refresh for you to get the next one. And what, and then you'll see on each one, they'll have different instructions. But the most important things is you'll be working on Virtual Studio, what we've been doing here. So the first instruction was for you to install Node.js and, uh, and Virtual Studio, and you did that, right? And then uh, the next step was for you to use that uh, search button to look at your data set. And once you get your data set, you then make it your favorite. And then they ask you to do it, um, to do another one where they ask you to su now submit. So most of the time they'll ask you to submit work from here and you'll be able to, because now you understand that it's just right click and you get it. And here, the one example that we're doing is just copying and pasting from our public into our work, right? Into our actual uh, username. And then from there, uh, we were submitting work so we can see what's going on into those documents. And we understood that PDS um, CAT was taking the two files that we copied and then showing a result. And that's what happens, right? So it's just, so, and you'll see all the other challenges will be a continuous of what you were doing, right? And then uh, what I'll ask you to do now is uh, just go to that, uh, can you see that Unix below data sets? And then we'll be done with this. So if you have any questions, I'm giving you some time to just uh, let me know. Um, then because we want to move on to um, our community cloud, right? Can you see that Unix, Unix system service? And then there's a plus there, just like the data set, yes. So there's MTM 2020, the one that you created a while back. So you, you're doing that, you're just adding it there, right? Even for jobs, so we're not doing anything right now. We just want to make sure that we have uh, everything that we have on top also at the bottom. So even for jobs, do the same thing. There's a plus sign next to jobs. Jobs is at the bottom. Can you see jobs? Yes, there's a plus sign there. There's MTM, yes. Great. So we're done with Virtual Studio for now, uh, but you'll see all the challenges will be either building on top of what you've been learning, of what you've been doing, just copy and paste, or they'll then make, you, make it a bit challenging and say, find a secret ID or so forth. But you'll see on the, um, on the document that I've shared with you, there's a Slack channel. So if you're finding any issues or you don't know what you're doing or whatever, like you'll find that other people are experiencing the same thing and they've asked on this Slack channel and you'll find solutions, they all hints, right? So let me also share the, the link. So in the meantime, while I'm sharing the link, um, Iman, uh, can you register on the community cloud? And then uh, we'll start uh, with our hands on. So now we want to do our, our um, web page and also hopefully we'll play the game. So I've shared the uh, link. Where should I register? So there's a link on the chat. It's uh, HTTPS. Can you find it? Yes.
Right. So here, this this uh, document. The reason why I sent you to the main one is it has a lot of tutorials, core patterns. If you're really interested in Linux, then you will uh, find a lot of information here. So please scroll down for me. So you'll also find trials for OpenShift if you're interested in OpenShift, but we'll work on this one, the second one, right? The one that has a uh, Linux One Community Cloud. This, yeah, it's this one. Um, so the second one is the first start guide, right? So if you want to install uh, Spark, uh, um, MongoDB, it will show you how to do it. Scroll down. So there's the try virtual, mach virtual machine on Linux One Community Cloud. Can you see that one? Yeah, so we're going to that one. So click on it. And then you'll put your information. So in the meantime, I'm still trying to uh, get the Slack channel. It's in your documents, but I just want to put it on the chat just in case some people don't see it, right? There's also Twitter for those that are comfortable with Twitter and want to rather ask questions there. Cool. So you can put your information here. So the community cloud is, um, remember when I was talking about, you know, having these two machines that we have here in South Africa for skills, you know, skills shortage in the whole world. And then we have a community cloud for those who want to learn, um, you know, be working on an actual machine. So this is a part of it and you get uh, four months for free where you can just do work or learn any skills on Linux, open source. But um, after that four months, it doesn't mean that you have to pay, you just renew your, your, your um, subscription or maybe re-register again. And the reason why we do that and we don't have it for longer. So organization, you can put your university. The only, the only reason why we don't have it for longer is because it's free and we don't want people to just have, have it there and not being uh, not doing anything on it, right? So you just for your for organization you write uh, your university, and then for for the description you write uh, master main thing. So I just want to show you on my slide some of the things that you can do on this community cloud. I'm sure you can, uh, you can, uh, well, if you find the languages very familiar, your management tools, database, analytics, what you see on Facebook right now, where they, um, you know, everything that you like, every page that you like, they then uh, subscribe or recommend pages that you, they think that you like, or even when they're advertising, they'll advertise according to what you like. If you like food, then they'll start advertising food. And then the distributors, we have Red Hat, Ubuntu, and Suzy. Those are the different people that, uh, or companies that offer, um, you know, uh, Linux, unlike Windows where you have just one because you pay for the licensing. Uh, with Linux, we have different uh, distributors because um, it's open source, meaning that you can install it in your laptop, but then if you want the support, then you'll have to pay for that. So we have Red Hat, Suzy, and Ubuntu. And on the community cloud, we have Suzy and Red Hat. So you can try any of those two. Uh, can you just go back to your screen? Iman. Thank you. Yes, so, so I have done the registration and this is what it says now. Oh no, okay. So for you, uh, it said um, you under review. Uh, yeah, so normally it says uh, you get an email and then they will, um, so, so you, you, you have to activate it. And then once you get that email, you just click on the link. Uh, I'm sure you have checked Iman your emails and you didn't get an email from Linux One Community Cloud, right? Yes, I have. Um, actually, I'm not checking yet. Let me check. Yeah, just check and also check under your spam. So if you get an email, what um, it, it will say, please, um, you know, accept this entitlement or whatever. And then you just click on the link and then you'll be able to log in. I'm glad we're looking good on time. Hopefully we'll do. Um, we will I should have gotten the email. You got it? Yeah, I will just open it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good 
Great. So now, right, we're registering on the community cloud. Just check your spam. Uh, so it won't be this one, it will be Linux one. Oh yes, it's it's not that one. Okay. I'm sorry, I thought this was a Linux one. It's okay. Just uh click on that um, you know, uh that tab where you're going out. No, go on to your emails, let's check. It may be uh, under your spam or maybe your promotionals or whatever. I think you separated your emails. So it should be under. You know, let's go to social. Nothing there. Promotional. No, nothing there. Okay, go scroll down and look under spam. Mm, okay, cool. Uh, I was very happy that you, you probably got it. But anyway, so what happens, uh, let me, can I show my screen and then I will just, um, the thing is, I'm not using uh, Windows. Uh, okay, it's fine. Let's work something else. Okay, sorry. Making noise. So right, you'll get an email right from uh, the community cloud, and then uh, what? Okay, let, let's just say, uh, is there anyone who's willing to share their screen? Let's see, because then what needs to happen is you log in right, and then we'll create our virtual machine, and then from there you have to install Putty. Uh, and I can't uh, install Putty on my laptop because it's a Mac, but also I can't show you the directions of getting there. So no one is no one else can share their screen. Mm. Oh, mom. Can you? Okay, so anyway, uh, since we don't have anyone who can share their screen, what happens is, let me just share my, my screen. So you go on the community cloud, right? So there's a view guide. Let me also share that, uh, that guide that will direct you how to uh, go about creating a virtual machine. Cause then I will just have to, um, unfortunately I'll just have to show you on the guide, which is not helpful, right? Because um, I know that you want to see it um, in action and see how to do stuff. Okay, so I just want to share the guide first. And then from there, then you can uh, see what happens. Okay, uh, I'm going. I'm getting my guide from my Git repository, but you also get it on the website, right? When you've logged in and registered, then you'll find the guide in the same place.
So I hope you can see my screen. I'm just trying to look for that guide, which is going to be not so easy. It's great. Okay, so remember there's a link where I asked you to register and you've done this part, right? And then uh, you get an email where it says, uh, normally it says, thank you, they'll send an activation. But um, I guess, you know, when they're seeing people uh, registering and they, so this, we have, we've had bad users before and they, they, they will put you under review for you just for, uh, for that day. And then after that, then you should be fine to log in for some people when they just think there's just too many uh, people registering at the same time. And when you get into that system, it's also show you a view guide. So if you click on that view guide, it will direct you as I will be directing you on how to, um, you know, uh, create a virtual machine and then how to set it up on Patty. And then what, so, uh, what I was going to do is obviously make it easier and show it to you quicker. But anyway, um, so you can change your password if you want to under account settings. And then the, I know this is a bit outdated in a way. So the first thing you do here is you create your virtual machine. You leave it as general purposes. This is not helping at all because I'm just walking through the document and I prefer you know, showing you as a live demonstration. But since we, we do not have anyone who wants to show their screen, um, it's fine. Uh, so you select, you, then they will ask you for an instance name, you write test, and then, uh, then they ask you for an image. So remember I was telling you about Red Hat, Suzy and Ubuntu. So in this case, uh, you have to select Red Hat, uh, RAL uh, 8.2. And so you have different options. So your RAL will be Red Hat, your slaves will be Suzy. Uh, and you're only selecting RAL 8.2 because that's what we'll be working on when you're creating our, our web page. But you could also do it in your slaves or your RAL older version. Um, and there's nothing different besides the fact that obviously if you're working on RAL, uh, there'll be some commands that are work on, on Red Hat and some that would not, like YAM is uh, to install on, um, you know, not on, on Red Hat, uh, it's an install management. And then on, on Ubuntu, it's APT. So it's just different wording, but it's the same. Linux is Linux everywhere. And then uh, here, then you'll just select there's only one available, which is has two cores and memory, the, uh, the memory and the disk space is that 50, 50 gig disk space, right? And then your, your key, this is your fingerprint to your virtual machine. So you have to create your, your key, uh, I've not, I've done people saying that they already have this. Uh, you could use it, but um, obviously it needs to be a private key. So you create your key by just clicking on create. And then they ask you how, what name that you want to use to create your key. And you, um, you write anything. And then uh, you can write test or whatever. And once you've written, uh, written the name and you've uh, clicked on create, then it will ask, prompt you to say, do you want to save it? And you, you should say save, please, because you will use this key later on. And then the next thing is it will showcase uh, at the bottom, right? And you just select it. So the three things that you need to do is make sure you write your server name, you select the image, you select the flavor, even though there's one, but you still need to select it. Then you select the key. Then the, active, then the create button will be activated. So you need to click on create. And after that, uh, I would have said that you need to install Putty. So what Putty does, um, you install, it, it comes with two folders, right? Two files, applications. Uh, so the one that we'll use is uh, the Putty Gen. So when you're creating this key, it defaults to a format called PM. That's for Mac users, Linux users, because remember it was created for Linux. So unfortunately, if you're using um, Windows, you'll have to use that Putty Gen to change the formats from PM to PPK. So just like when you have a Word document and now you want to change it to PDF, you sometimes use a tool. Maybe you find it on a web browser or whatever. Uh, well, if you want to change it from Word to, to, to PDF, it's, it's easy, you just save it as that. But if you wanted to change it from PDF to, to now Word, then you have to use a tool. So um, the party is the same thing. So it will help you change your formats from PM to PPK. And then, um, and then there's another one called PP, uh, Party Configurator. Over there, you're just putting a few configurations or 
uh, changing some formats on it, and then now you want to access your virtual machine, and then you put your IP address that is given to you on the system. So uh, when you are creating your virtual machine, it will start saying spooling or scheduling. Then once it's active and you have an IP address, that IP address you put on your party. So then now you have your, your party, right? Uh, and you have access to uh, your machine. So the next thing you do is obviously it will then have, you have a black screen. So we'll both, I'll be using my, my, my terminal because I'm using Mac and I, really, I don't have to install party. Then um, obviously you log into your machine and then it will start saying, welcome to Linux One Community Cloud, right? I don't know why mine is stopping. Okay, and then once you're here, then we'll start these different commands, right? So I've shared them on the chat. Let me just see which one, right? So um, now remember we first started with v VSC, right? Then we did VSC2 and then we did PDS1. So those were all done on the virtual studio. But then um, now we're working on our community cloud. So we'll work on the LX2 dot red hat. So remember all these challenges are in your master mainframe. We're just picking the ones that we, we know that will be a bit of a challenge or maybe just need an introduction, right? So if you open the Linux one um, LS, LNX2 red hat, then it will prompt you and say, you know, uh, to create your own. Um, so I don't wanna go through all my, sorry, all my commands. So I've done it here and I just wanna show you. Uh, so it will prompt you, right? To, it will tell you what, what, what commands to run. Because what we're doing right now, what I'm showing you, and I was hoping that you will do it, and then we will uh, just um, you know, follow you or maybe understand the picture, is you first install your no Nano. So what is Nano? So remember, okay, let me first start with the intros of um, Linux. So on Linux, if you saw, if we we're doing the party you know, installation, they give us, they all give us a username Linux One, right? Can you see here? It's Linux One. And the reason why they're giving us all Linux One privileges instead of root is this is a system that is used by everyone and they only obviously want to give you specific privileges. So now in any Linux um, environment, if you want to do like installation or something that will affect the system, they always want you to run sudo, right? So you can know that now you're making a big change. Unlike you know on 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 Windows or whatever, you just you know click 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 and you get it. And Linux is mostly for people that are like us, techies that like um, you know um, using our commands instead of just clicking on on the system, right? So we here we're installing so that yam right? So that sudo was for uh, right installing right? So maybe some command it's like a root access, and then that yam. This works on, uh, on Red Hat only. So if it was Ubuntu to be APT, and if it was Suzy, something else also. And we're saying um, install, and now we're installing Nano. So what is Nano? Uh, it's an um, a, a editor, right? It's a writing editor. So I'll show you now uh, how that works. So we're just installing that. So you have different ones. You have Vim, V I M, uh, writing editors out there. So we are installing it and it's installed, right? And then uh, obviously because I've been installing it for quite some time, it will always say already installed and so forth. And then the next thing is here I'm installing uh, 390X, right? So what is uh, S390X is uh, a Linux one machine. So for people in, in, in the Linux world, they'll call it an S390X instead of saying a Linux one even when they're calling it in the system, right? And then uh, we, we're installing Apache because on our web browser, we wanna install, or, or where is it? Um, we wanna install an application that will allow us. Here, so here I was calling it and starting it, right? And then I wanna see if it's active, right? Uh, here, and I'll see the status. I wanna see if it's active and running and it does say it's active, right? And in the next steps here, we'll then, um, we now want to make sure that we are, we're creating also, okay, actually see, let me just show you from here because me writing it uh, or just talking about it will not help right now. So here, when we're saying CD, right? 
we we want to go to this folder. So CD is change directory in, in, in Linux, and now it has changed to that HTML directory, right? If you look from our instructions that I have here, but also it's though all these instructions, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about things that you do not have an idea what I'm, I'm doing. Uh, it's all here in this document. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, red hat two, yes. So they, they tell you here, it's just that uh, some of the challenge, the things that they say here, um, if you've never used um, Linux in a way, you would uh, find it a bit challenging, you know, like uh, right in the beginning or something. So here they say, go to this, right? So if they say go to, uh, you know, they say change directory, right? And then they say create file called index HTML. Can you see there? So what I've done here, is um, so remember I first I need to find where I am because the screen is not here. So remember I so where is it? Yeah. So remember I changed my directory right, and then now they're saying I must create index. So there's sudo nano. Remember when you're creating something, so I'm creating a file called index HTML right. And, and once it's there, right, um, obviously uh, when you create it, then it will uh, ask you for more information about it. So let me just show you. So if I create it, then it will show, but already I've been working on it, right? So if you've worked on HTML before or have ne never, that's fine. So what it happens here is just a basic one. It's saying, what is the document type? It's HTML, right? And then you obviously starting with HTML and now you're writing a body. Can you see it even says body in it? And then your first headline, which is head one, H1, right? Uh, it's my web page. So we can change this, right? And write whatever we want to say, right? So they say um, our web page because I'm the only one using mine. And then we're closing that uh, web page, obviously at the end. So you open and close on on HTML, though those are the conditions. I don't know if you guys have worked on HTML before, but this is uh, going to be straightforward. And then and now we're writing a paragraph, like what do we want to show on our web page? We can always write something else, right? We can say, let's say, our own, our own, our own web page, right? So I think I wrote that already. Uh, but anyway, let's just write it like that. And then I've, I've closed it. And then the, if you want to write the body, you do the same thing. You put a body and then at the end, you'll put something else, right? But then what we're doing here is just closing, right? And then with um, Nano, also with Vim, it's different. It's the same thing, right? Control O is to save and then enter, and then Control X. I would have loved it if we, we could do this um, together. And then I'm writing cat, right? because now I want to show uh, what's in there, right? So I write cat and nano. So cat means display what I put in there and enter, and it shows everything that I've written there, right? And then, uh, so here on the document, then it says you need to start, right? Okay, so we've done that. So um, we were actually at this point where we were showing our body and everything, they even show you, you just copy it from there if you want to, and you don't want to write your own, um, you know, um, the, the format, right? So they help you show it there. And they even tell you they control O and control X to uh, save and then exit, right? And then they want you to um, obviously use your IP and then you start uh, starting, you're putting your firewalls and then you just work from there because working from a document and then going back. And then what I've done here is then I've started my, my firewall. And then I also you need to obviously have a, a port number for everything you know on your browser. You also, you always have to have a, a port number. So if we put our port number there, I know we're just redoing it and it will say already done. So um, then it says successful, right? So it's there, all the information is there on the documents. It's just that some, they will, um, assume that you know some commands on Linux and then they will uh, just, um, you know, get you to just do it the way that you would understand it. And then the, in the, we're running the last one where we just want to reload the page, right? And if I wanted to open the page, right? So 
uh, before uh, this um, this you know uh, this session, I did this, and it uh, it was uh, what I wrote inside my web page. Or remember that the document I was um, editing that Nano. I wrote our own web page running on IBM Z. But now we've just changed it, right? We changed some information. So let's see. So I put that IP address. Remember this IP address is from your uh, community cloud where you created it, right? And then uh, also uh, here, you can see it. I was calling it from there, right? And then I'm writing eight zero and then it should change. So right, it's saying our web page, our own web page. So I didn't write much, there, but you can, I, I hope you can get the idea, right? So now uh, I was hoping that you guys will be able to, um, you know, get to this point and also play the game. It would be nice. Mm. So um, anyway, it's fine. I'll just work, go through it and, and you'll see. So now I'm writing CD. Remember the reason why I'm writing CD, I wanna go back to my main uh, chain, my, my main directory. And if I left it there, then it means I was going to be installing or doing all these things under the wrong folder. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating my, or, or installing my game, right? So now here they're showing you that you have your web page and in, uh, this is just for you if you wanna see you know, your logs and stuff. So they explain everything that you need to do. Um, and in here, they're saying they want you to download this code, right? So I will download it. So you can see me download it, right? And, and what they've done is they have made sure that it's not a lot of um, data. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't consume a lot. So you just um, need to, you know, you just have to run these commands and they'll be able to work. And you don't have to, you know, use a lot of data and so forth, right? So here they're saying um, there's tar v if, uh, if, right? So remember you've installed this document, these documents here. Unfortunately for me, it's not showing all of them. And the reason why is obviously I've installed it before, but they'll install all these different uh, documents, including that uh, TAR, JZ document. And you need to um, decompose or open that document for you to get the right components. And so here they're just saying T, uh, ta VF, uh, uh, XVF ZO, right? Uh, and then, right? And then, so now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm opening every components from the documents. And then um, I want to install, obviously I need to install make and, and JC, JCC. And those are for obviously for me to install all the tools that I need for my game, right? So I'll just, I'll just go and install that, right? So it's here, just like I, I told you how to install. Right, obviously I, I've installed it so many times that it won't do anything. And then the last one is calling my my game, right? This one, right? Oh, oh, I have to see the right. So obviously I need to move uh, from that document and go to. So I have to go from there, right? Remember I was in the main directory. So now I wanna go to the one that has the game, right? CD, and then I can run my game and it will be able to work. Right, so there's my game and then I'll, let's, let's just play it and see if it works, right? Press any key. And so just like that, you have the game and you, you, you can, you're playing it on Linux, on actual Linux instead of, um, you know, you could play it, but this is for us, you know, people that love, um, you know, things that are a bit challenging or understanding something different, you know, doesn't have to be challenging, but just for you to understand something different. Any questions? I know this last part is not, um, you know, helpful to you because you're just seeing someone doing stuff and you don't know how you would do it. If I may ask from the from participants, did anyone receive um, an email from the Linux One Community Cloud? <laughs> you guys are so quiet. Okay. So you can see that you were able to, well, I was able to 
uh, create my own web page and then um, playing a game and you will also be able to do it, right? I think I've, I've shared all the files that I need to, will help you. I think I didn't share. Yeah, I did share all of them that will help you get to that level and be able to compute level one. So I, I, we left with 30 minutes, which is great, but um, I think we would have had enough um, time for us to do for you to do it by yourself. Did anyone on the chat receive any emails from your community cloud and able to log in? I won't ask you to, uh, to share your screen. I just wanna find out if, um, if you were successful in logging in and you, you're fine right now, you'll be able to complete or carry on. So what I will say, if you're thinking of, um, you know, getting some skills on IBM Z. Um, I've shared all the, the resources that I have. And um, if, the, and if you don't wanna do anything on IBM Z, maybe you wanna think of other things, that academic website. So I, let me just reshare all these links again, just for those that either arrived late or So the academic one will have different trainings um, and it's not only IBM Z, you have security, quantum computing, you name it, you'll find it there. And so you will be able to uh, get certificates for yourself because um, in this day, regardless of the fact that you're doing IT, there's a lot of people who have the same degree and you wanna stand out and, uh, and do these things. And also there's also uh, IBM Z ambassador that we have, uh, well, we recruit people every year and these people get to you know, network with people within IBM, potential employees, and also um, get you know, exposure and might, be, might get an internship within IBM because they're part of the program, depending obviously on the country that you're in. I do have, um, I think three people from Pakistan uh, that reports sorry, uh, the site and they, they yeah, they're from Pakistan and we've had events with them. And uh, so that's what happens and they're doing their final year. So you could also apply for it. You can um, either invite me on LinkedIn when I do share my, when I do share these kind of uh, programs. And I also share a lot of uh, training that we have on IBM Z and IBM Cloud. Um, so if you're interested in those kind of things, please uh, follow me on, the, on, on, or go or, or add me or connect with me on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for your time. I'll stop there. I, won't want, I don't wanna carry on and, and talk unless you guys have any questions or things that you wanna ask, then uh, I'm, I'm free for you to ask anything right now. I do have another presentation right now, well at three. Well, I don't know what's your time, but yeah, in, in, in 30 minutes. Any questions? You're so quiet. <laughs> You're such a quiet bunch. Okay, uh, thank you so much for your time. And I hope you learned something or you got something from this, right? Any you know, resources that we could help, it could help you in the future. Um, I'm, I'm very hopeful that you, you get something from this. And you also complete level two uh, or level one, uh, up to you, uh, whatever you find uh, interesting. And, um, and I hope you, someone, at least one person gets or finds it interesting, right? Okay, cool. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the amazing workshop today. And I have attached the feedback form link in the chat box. Um, so everyone please fill the feedback form. Uh, also, if you want the recording of today's uh, workshop, uh, then you would have to fill the form. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.